lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking about fashion in the 1930s. I'm going to talk a little bit about the history of fashion in that decade and talk about popular styles and what to look for if you're looking for something that's 1930s inspired. I also found an authentic dress from the 1930s at the thrift shop, which is crazy if you think about it. So that dress is, is 90 years old, I have no idea how it survived. That's the oldest dress I've ever found at the thrift shop. So let's jump right in and I'm going to talk about a brief history of fashion in the 1930s. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Laura and this is where we talk about all things vintage. So if you love vintage fashion and beauty, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the big red button below. So I got a lot of inspiration from this book. It's called All American Ads and it talks, it just kind of shows what was popular in the 1930s. It has ads for old cars, there's even beauty ads, there's food ads, there's fashion ads. I always loved looking at this just for inspiration and you can kind of see the popular styles during that decade. So I highly recommend this book if you're looking for kind of a source of inspiration for the 1930s. The 1930s were a pretty rough time historically because it was the Great Depression. There was a huge divide between really poor people and really rich people. So a lot of the rich people would take things to the next level and almost show it off and be extra extravagant with large fur collars. And Hollywood movies at the time kind of put an emphasis on glamour. Women, the old all Hollywood actresses would wear long bias cut dresses with fur and this was almost an escape for people during the Great Depression because they could kind of escape and watch these movies and it kind of took them away from the severe poverty that existed in the Great Depression. So I'm going to talk about a few style elements that were popular in the 1930s. So like I mentioned before, bias cut was very popular and more of a midi length, um, kind of mid calf I would say and large sleeves were popular like puff sleeves at the cuff as well as a huge emphasis on the neckline and collar oversized collars were popular as well as kind of like a sailor collar and lots of ruffles in the front so there was it was a lot more feminine the silhouette compared to the 20s where the 20s was very boxy and there was less emphasis on the chest. The chest is really flat, but in the 1930s, there's a lot more emphasis on the upper area of the chest. Also in the 1930s, a woman started wearing pants. They would actually wear them to the beach. A sun tanning was popular um, because the rib French Riviera became popular. And so women would wear these long beach pants. Um, also many old Hollywood actresses put an emphasis on pants, Greta Garbo would wear pants and Marlene Dietrich would also wear pants and these were kind of long high-waisted pants that kind of at the time they were called beach pants. Shoes, they were kind of similar to the 1920s. Oxford style shoes were popular similar to this replica here with a little heel, sometimes flat ones as well. Also the T strap shoe was popular in the 1930s as it was in the 1920s. So everything was fairly modest in the 1930s. The colors were very subdued. Nothing was very bright or flashy, mainly because it was the Great Depression and people just didn't have money. The silhouette um, had a fitted waist at the hips, so it wasn't boxy like the 1920s. So after researching the 1930s, I kind of had it set in my mind and I was kind of like, okay, now I know what to look for. And randomly at the thrift shop, I found it might be a 1930s morning dress, but I know it's the 1930s because I have found a 1920s dress once, I found a 1940s dress, and I know what to look for in the difference. The reason why this one is 1930s, like I said before, it has emphasis on the collar, as you can see here, that kind of sailor collar, and capes were very in style, and this one has that built-in cape. Again, it has kind of the natural waistline that's nipped in, and it kind of flares away softly at the hips, as you can see. And you can also tell that it's old because it doesn't have any overlock stitching, which they didn't have in the 1930s. Everything was hand done. As you can see, they did use a sewing machine, but you can tell even the ribbon detail along the neckline is very old. For me, I like collecting these things because this is almost a piece of history. I know you can't wear this dress because it's too old, but this is incredible to me. I just, I'm shocked I could find something this old. I've never seen anything like this. 
Um, I just think it's an incredible dress. So let me know if you think it's my morning dress. I just thought it was perfect timing finding this dress for this video. So I thought that was a great find. So this is an authentic dress from the 1930s. Get into some looks from Unique Vintage. This shirt is actually from Chic Wish, but I wanted to include it because it has that 1930s look. The color, which was very popular in the 30s, it's that subdued color. Nothing was really bright in the 30s, it was more subdued, and this color was very popular, so it's kind of like a, almost a dusty green mint, and it had the large collar, it's putting emphasis on the collar. And I thought this shirt would look great with these 1930s inspired high-waisted beach pants. Um, they're like, they kind of almost look like the skirt that's the long leg and that's very wide at the bottom and it's high waisted and I think it'll look really cute with that top and it definitely has that 1930s look and they're very flattering on and I love how flared out they are. So these are like a 1930s inspired pair of pants from Unique Vintage. This is a dress that is inspired by the 1930s. At first I was like, no, this seems more 50s, but now that I actually have a 1930s dress to kind of use it as reference, I'm definitely seeing the similarities in terms of the waist kind of being fitted in. It's not super flared like the 1950s, but it has a flare. The colors are quite subdued as well compared to the 1950s with kind of dusty pinks and beiges. It has that sailor emphasis on the collar and these collar details which were also popular in the 1930s. So this is definitely a 1930s inspired dress from Unique Vintage. Here is another 1930s kind of day dress from Unique Vintage. The, it kind of has a wrap style with ruffles. Again, see the emphasis on the collar and the 1930s inspired kind of sleeves here. And it kind of has that flowy look. It's a wrap dress and again, it's like nipped in at the waist but it's soft and it just has that 1930s look. And again, the colors are subdued. It's kind of like a light, kind of dusty blue. And all the ruffles and everything, it definitely has a 1930s day dress look. This is the last dress from the 1930s. Again, at first I definitely thought this could be 1950s, but the collar is 1930s with the emphasis with the tie. This was very popular in the 30s, having collars that were tied like this. Um, the waist is definitely nipped in, but it's not too exaggerated like in the 50s, and the skirt flares out as well. And again, it's kind of a softer cherry print. The blue's dusty and darker, similar to colors in the 1930s. And this is my last dress from Unique Vintage from the 1930s. I created a little mini lookbook so you can see these dresses on. I might attempt to try the black dress on, so if you see me in it, that means it fits. If not, it was a no-go. Alright, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about 1930s fashion. Which one is your favorite decade? I quite like the 1930s, but honestly, I think every decade is so unique for different reasons. So let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.